morning, folks, and welcome to Garbage Theater. Tonight's installment, Gunan, King of the Barbarians. Or not, because they don't even fucking call him that. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host, Chase, and my co-host, Blake and John. Hello. Ooh. Uh, this was not good. <laughs> um, <laughs> this was not Gunan. The, the, Gunan was never mentioned. He never nope. made an appearance. Uh, I don't know how the hell you're going to get five questions out of that movie. I was telling John right before we started recording, I only have six. They're not very good, and we may very well cover them in the discussion, and they'll just be freebies. So who the hell knows how this is going to yeah. shake out? <laughs> nothing happened. Yeah, fucking this nothing happened. This is such a... Such a boring movie. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was like sh- it was shockingly, shockingly lazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was so much worse than what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of expecting something on par with like Robo War, um, but Conan, but yeah. Conan, but this is way worse than that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> way I was worse actually, than Robo I was, War. <laughs> I was hoping it would kind of hit some of the same notes as Conan. Yeah, but no, no, nah. not especially. No, no, there's a couple of you know, there's a couple of things that line up pretty directly, but they definitely got you know yeah. some inspiration. But it, there was, I mean, and what's there were so like I looked at like eight sword and sorcery movies, and this is the one that I picked. And I know any of the other seven would have been better than this. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> so I really, I really whiff this one. Yeah, you're uh. You're fucking up on uh, the picks lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have to say, I, 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 Chupacabra was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chupacabra was alright. But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm one and two right now. <laughs> no worries. I'm gonna bring it all back. Don't oh, you Christ. worry. All right. Well, <laughs> we gotta get through Goonan first. So yeah, let's get this shit show on the road. Are we yes, gonna call sir. him? Are we gonna call him Goonan just for fun? I, I have been, throughout my entire notes, I refer to him and his brother as Gunan and Poonan. Perfect. <laughs> and that's how it's going to be. Yeah, that's fine. Because screw this movie, goddammit. <laughs> I wanted a Gunan. <sighs> okay, so here we go. We open up to a cheap watered-down impersonation of Basil Polidorus's Anvil of Crom score. And it's followed by a cheap, watered-down impersonation of the opening Riders of Dune sequence from Conan the Barbarian, where a peaceful village of dirt people go about their daily, grainy lives with contrasting shots of a barbarian horde approaching in slow motion. Uh, why are there just random fires all over the ground? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. At There's first... just little... Like like grapefruit-sized holes with blazing fires coming out of them in this village. Fire just chilling on the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah, the 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 video quality on this was awful. God, so awful. bad. No, it, was I mean, it was like a direct transfer from VHS, I think. Yeah. And um, they, I guess they cropped in on stuff too because the framing yeah. was a mess. The um, framing's a mess. They they clearly edited out all the nudity scenes. I, I was wondering about that too because like I I did a like a Google image search for for still or for the poster for this movie so I can make my of course preview. you did of course you did John well, why what, why would I suspect <laughs> that there was missing nudity but anyway there was like nudity in the Google image search that I was like where was that <laughs> yeah this I don't know if this was a bootleg copy that Amazon decided to put up for everyone to view but yeah. Who knows? This, this, anyway. this movie's got a couple of like AKAs, I think, right? Like alternate titles. Yeah, yeah. The Invincible Barbarian, uh, other shit. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm, but, those those versions probably have are the full yeah. version. Yeah. Anyway, inside a hut, Mevian comforts his laboring wife Mina as she prepares to give birth to their son, who will be called Zukan because the <laughs> stars have ordered it so. They keep talking about the stars throughout this whole movie. Dictate the stars are like the government to these people. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did you hear they're raising the virgin sacrifices by ten percent this year? Typical goddamn stars. <laughs> That's what we get for living in a red dwarf state. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you have a two-star system, you know, and 
Uh, so, Mevian continues that his son will wear his medallion of leadership and bring the world to peace, fulfilling a sacred prophecy. Uh, meanwhile, a nurse slash doctor slash witch takes a look under the dead sheepdog they have draped across her <laughs> and <laughs> tells them that it's time for the baby to come. Yeah, I'm like, is she just wearing a sheep? <laughs> it's just the whole animal. It's just the whole thing. Uh, the barbarian horde stampedes closer as Mina gives birth to twins. And Mevian hears them approach and orders the witch to take the boys to safety and gives her did, the medallion. Did anybody else find it strange that uh, uh, the, the old witch lady was like, hey, it's twins, by the way. And they're like, oh, what? You know, like... Like the lady didn't feel two babies coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they they just blasted out of there at the same time. They were in a bear hug. Yeah. Look, in the uh, in the star provided healthcare plan that they have, <laughs> ultrasounds wasn't an option. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the villagers cry out that the Hungots have come, not the Ungnots. Like my description said, which was yeah. brazenly wrong. Well, I was I was kind of disappointed because Ungnots sounded way better than the Hungots. The Hungots, no, it's just the Hungots. Uh, the Hungots have come, and then the villagers just kind of move out of the way. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of action here. Uh, Mevian draws his sword and runs out of the hut as his wife begs him not to let her die. Outside, there are several stunning displays of swordplay oh. as, <laughs> as four to five sets of men battle in the exact same one, two, three, stomach slash, one, two, three, stomach slash <laughs> over and over again. My note, my note here is just fight choreography, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, it's what happens when you take two five year olds, give them each a wrapping paper tube. And they go, clang, clang, clang. And that's a fight. That's the fight. <laughs> uh, uh, and, in, including one man in a striking fluorescent yellow onesie. I don't know if you caught that guy. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> uh, Mevian is overpowered by several men and stabbed repeatedly as they enter his tent. Uh, the leader, named Nuriak, uh, slowly approaches Mina and very slowly and dramatically cuts her head off. Conan. Uh, yep. one of the men point out to Nuriak that Mina has just had a child and he orders them to search for it as Mevian slowly crawls to his uh, wife's dead body and dies at her side. Outside, the barbarians torch the village or maybe just some random fjord fires got out of hand. <laughs> That's what happens when you just leave <laughs> fires laying around. Uh, the following day, the witch is being pursued by the barbarians through the wilderness this is all established by far too many feet shots. Oh my Just god. Just a good solid 10 minutes of feet walking. Yeah. It's like a real time search <laughs> for this child. Uh, she makes it to the shoreline and begins to tire as she trudges across the sand before she drops from exhaustion. Later, as the babies lay crying on the ground, a group of Amazonian warriors approach. And they say that their leader, Marga, told them to look on this side of the beach as the stars decreed they would find a child there. Goddamn stars keeping the little man down. Uh, <laughs> the, the Amazonians spot the twins, have her point out that the prophecy was for only one child. Cut to the men now fully grown. Oh my god, so, so like fast. Immediately. Yeah, so just, fast. It's, it's showing them as babies and then it cuts and they're full grown men. Bam. To the to the point where you you know you have to you're wondering what I'm what I'm seeing here like yeah. who are these is, the is this supposed yeah <laughs> <laughs> this 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 movie just skips time all over the goddamn it's not even place. like a, it's not even like a transition it's not like a fade nope. to black and a nope. you know nothing nope. like that it's I just saw a hard two cut. dudes just showed up yeah yeah, yeah. it's just no, two guys no, like, no establishing shots of time scarabs a la Field Freak, nothing. Just no, let me ask all you over this. the place. Was there ever a point in time when those haircuts looked good? <laughs> no. N never. Not never. Once. <laughs> Not I even mean, in barbarian times. No, both of them were just rocking like bangs like a four-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in this movie is just rocking bangs. 
<laughs> or I think half Perfect. of the uh, half of the the extras or whatever are just passing around the same wig. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they've got five wigs, and it's just the person that just left the shot runs around behind the camera and gives the wig to the next person that's about to be in the shot. <laughs> right. Uh, the wig work. The wig work yeah. is so bad. Yeah. Uh, a man walks through the Amazonian village with a tiger while the Amazons look on, all in slow motion, all seemingly for no reason at all. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> hey, he's just showing off his tiger. He's like, hey, yeah. did you guys... Check out this tiger I got. Pretty great, right? They just, never mentioned it. <laughs> no, no, that's no reason. Yeah. Uh, Gunan and Punan follow it out to a clearing where a pair of Amazons wait. And the man with the tiger just kind of walks away. Hey, later, guys. What was yeah. all that for? And why was it deemed dramatic enough for slow motion for the entire thing? It's Everything madness. is deemed dramatic enough for slow motion <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> Uh, and also, you'd think at least one of these women would think, man, we live in a scorching hot, sand rented deathscape. Maybe we should invent some pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pants are for idiots, Chase. <laughs> so the Amazons order up a single spear, and it's planted in the sand as the challenge begins, and Gunan and Punan wrestle over the spear. Gunan gets it, but throws it away and proceeds to manhandle his brother around. He tosses him aside and tells him to go be with the women. That's where you belong. Ooh, Gunan, you're going to get eviscerated on Twitter. <laughs> well, you know, fuck Twitter, but like he's living in... <laughs> they're living now... They grew up in a matriarchal tribe. Yeah. What is it's he talking about? It's nothing but women. It's they're nothing all, but warrior women. Right, they're all women warriors. <laughs> How are you going to slag these women off in this tribe that he grew up in? It doesn't make any sense. Well, he's the best. <laughs> He's the, where, he's, he's where, did he learn, where did he learn the misogyny from? <laughs> from the guy with the tiger. <laughs> the tiger. The guy with the tiger just comes around being like, man, look at all these bitches, right? Exactly. <laughs> huh. yeah, I bet you I could walk through, through here with this tiger and none of them would do shit. <laughs> so as Gunan and Poonan scuffle, uh, Marga tells them to respect the rules of the Kuniat which is no sass mouth, I guess. Uh, Poonan says that anyone standing in the way of his avenging his mother is his enemy. Gunan tells him to look inside himself, and then will he only be able to satisfy his vow. Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what vow? What, what does that mean? Uh, so Poonan storms off, having lost uh, this battle of sharp-tongued wit, uh, also, Gunan looks like the real life version of what the head of the He-Man action figure looked like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just an ugly hamburger-headed mess. You guys uh, know who uh, who Robert Zadar is, right? No clue. He's, he's in uh, Samurai Cop. He's like the bad, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. bad guy with the gigantic chin. Mm -hmm. This guy kind of looked like Robert <laughs> Zadar to me. <laughs> uh, so, cut to Marga preparing some kind of smoky brew. As Poonan enters, uh, she rings a gong as he asks why he doesn't have a name. Aw, poor Poonan. Uh, <laughs> she tells him that uh, the name uh, Zakal, Zakan, uh, belongs to only one of them, as the stars told, and their wish is law. And he demands to tell him, she, he demands that she tell him which of the two of them it belongs to, and he throws her to the ground. And then the two exchange a pained, wincing glances for several minutes as she eventually transmogrifies into a lion and immediately back again. I, I, what, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> he throws her to the ground and they stare at each other for a while. It's and a then long while. She, just, she just cross dissolves into a lion for about two seconds and then back into her just to show him. Do you, think that no. do you think that tiger was some other lady? <laughs> well, that really ups the ante, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet uh. you I could lead this woman around by a chain and they won't do nothing. <laughs> uh. There's nothing... What is the lion thing? I mean, all they talk about is the stars. There's no, there's no like, lion god or something. What are they talking about? No. I, I don't. I don't uh, know. Nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. 
So she warns him not to try that again, as no mortal hand can defile a Kuniat, as they are immortal and can turn into lions for three seconds at a time. Uh, for only they know the secret of shields, the power of metal, the riddle of steel. Oh, wait, that's from the good movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he asks if the old woman that they found with them knew anything, and Marga says that she only left the talisman from his father. She claims that he is certain that the name and the talisman belong to him, for he is Poonan the Greasy. Uh, <laughs> Marga explains that the Supreme Council has decided that they will determine who who the stars chose. Great, now it's going to be in uh, uh, tied up in Star Senate for who the hell knows how long. Uh, she she, she <laughs> says, will never get passed. <laughs> she says when the sacred luminous circle appears in the sun once again, which I guess means an eclipse. Right. Then yeah. he and Gunan will face each other in battle to determine who has the right to the. Na I thought the council was going to decide. Goddamn star bureaucrats! Yo, didn't they just fight too? <laughs> <laughs> I th just give it to uh, the winner of that last fight. Yeah. Yeah. So um, they're like yeah. thirty-seven now. Like, <laughs> give them. Somebody needs a name. But anyway. Poonan says that he will prove that he is worthy of the name and storms out. Quick cut to an owl for one second, then quick cut away. It'll confuse the shit out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and it did. Yeah, the, yeah. because in the next completely owl-free scene, the two brothers are once again led down to Marga. Uh, so when I saw the owl, I was like, and who's this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Now, now the owl lady wandered in. <laughs> uh, the, the two brothers are once again led down to Marga. She lays out the challenges before them. And yeah, we're, we're there already. The eclipse was like that night, I guess. <laughs> I, I do, there's no passage of time in this movie. Shit just happens. Yeah. Uh, well... Well, Gunan, maybe hundreds of years from now, when our great-great-grandchildren are grown, cut to the goddamn great-great-grandchildren fully grown. <laughs> she tells them that they must race to the edge of the swamplands first, following the signs to the horses, and the winner will get their first, the, get first choice of weapons, then on to the forest where the camp is set for their final battle. The winner will return and be crowned Zukan the Invincible. So the two race off at Benny Hill speeds, but are quickly cut down to Michael Bay slow mo speed. Uh, this this whole thing was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> it's it goes on for so long. They the run neck and neck for what seems like an hour before finally arriving at the friggin' horses. They mount them and race off back in the slow motion again. This felt like uh, uh it felt like that part in uh Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where like Lancelot's running up. Yeah. <laughs> just over and over again. Just over and over. Uh, also, question. I'm no horse expert, but is karate chopping a horse in the jugular the best way to speed it up? Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that's, one that's what Gunan was right. doing. <laughs> he was trying to chop that thing's head off. Uh, I can imagine the horse handler being like, hey, you just gotta chop at that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> Just chop the neck. <laughs> Try to kill it as much as possible. <laughs> Your goal should be to actually kill the horse. Uh, so they arrive at the finish where Poonan is first and picks a sword. And Gunan runs up behind him and picks an identical sword. The other of the only two weapons there. <laughs> I, I thought it might, maybe there was two of each kind of weapon there. So first person got to choose which one they use. Like if Poonan picked yeah. a, a spear, there would have been another spear for Gunan. I don't know. I think I think there was just two goddamn little dinky swords. I'm probably giving yeah. it the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I was expecting this was going to be like Thunderdome, where there was just going to be shit all over the place. But yeah. no. <laughs> so they begin their battle. And it's normal speed and slow-mo in all the wrong places. Uh, <laughs> anything that you think should be the slow motion part of the sword fighting is the regular speed. And all the dumb stuff, like them just getting their footing back, that's what's in slow motion. And it takes so long. <laughs> yes. Like, it's, it's just so 
stupid. It's like, like really slow motion, like slower, yeah, really than, slow you, motion. slower than you imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for for minutes at a time. And and like I, I texted you guys when when I was watching it. I said, if you played all the slow motion in this movie at regular speed, the movie would be twenty minutes long. Probably so. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, <laughs> just like three hundred. Uh, so eventually Gunan gets the upper hand as he stands over his brother. He spares his life and returns to the Kuniat village. He finds them all lined up on the beach with a sword in the sand. He's presented the sword and given the name Zukan. He then announces that he's leaving the Kuniat to search for those who killed his mother. (laughs) Peace out, ladies. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, Marga tells him that she has consulted the goddamn stars, but they won't tell her who killed his mother other than what the man looks like. So she she has him look into this pool of broiling water where he has a vision of the Valley of Desolation. The Valley of Desolation is more lush and green than the sandy shithole these women live in. Uh, she, she shows him the face of Nuriak as he lays asleep. Uh, Poonan oversees this and sneaks away, though. She goes on to say that his fate will lead him back to the Kuniat eventually, where she will be waiting. Uh, so this, poignant... Go ahead. This is also the first time I think we hear him speak, right? When he says uh, he's going to leave. is like the very well, first time I think he says well, anything. Right? Well, no, he tells Poonan to go, you know, go wash up in the kitchen with the women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was his first line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how we're introduced to our hero character. Um... I also want to talk about how terrible the sword looks. <laughs> it's like a piece of trash, dude. It's like thrown together it, out of garbage. Yeah, it's cardboard wrapped in tinfoil. Oh, man. Conan's sword is amazing and, like, iconic. <laughs> this thing looks just... It's made of scrap metal or something. It's <laughs> awful. Uh, so, some poignant music plays, according to the subtitles. Right. As Poonan sneaks up on a sleeping Gunan, and he steals the talisman from Gunan's neck and rides off into the night. The next day, Gunan awakens to find his talisman stolen. The Kuniat tell him that his brother stole a horse and escaped, but he knows where to find him. Uh, Poonan then just fucking happens across Nuriak just a couple of feet down the frickin' road. <laughs> they just live down the path from each other. <laughs> As Nuriak's interrogating prisoners about the location of Mina's child, uh, he okay, questions a okay. W- okay, it's been it's been forty years, <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is still torturing people trying to find this baby. Surely it's still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so he questions forty years old. <laughs> He's about he's about six five, looks like a baby. <laughs> really you know what I'm talking about. That's all I got to go on. <laughs> uh, he questions a woman who claims that she doesn't know where the boy is. So uh Nuriak sends her free and then has his archer shoot her in the back. He then pulls up a man and asks him. And when he says he doesn't know, Nuriak also tells him that he's free and can go. Yeah, I don't know if you know or not, but we all just saw what you did to Cynthia, so I think I'm good here. <laughs> but However, doesn't, doesn't he say, he's like, no, let him go for real this time. Yeah, he actually lets him go, he is, because, you know, there's a chance he may lead us to, to Mina's child. So I guess it was just that woman's just most unlucky day possible. <laughs> You know, I, I hate to go backwards on such a shitty movie, but back to him looking for this baby. Yeah. <laughs> it just it just occurred to me. He's never even seen the baby. Nope. No, not once. So if anybody even said, can you describe it to me? Well, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just it's I, just I, some I had to baby. assume it was a baby, a human baby. <laughs> it was like a really long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> like he couldn't even give like a hair color or anything. Nope. It could be that baby could be anybody. Yeah, could be the. It could, could have been be the woman the, he just murdered. He just shot. <laughs> oh lord! So, uh, the fleeing man uh, runs by Poonan, who is also followed by Nuriak. 
Wait, is this based on? Is this? Do you think this is based on the uh, Bible story? The who's Bible the, story of, the, of Gunan and Pune. Well, who's the Who's the king that was like trying to uh, find find Jesus? Ah, anyway, uh, what? <laughs> there's some king who heard the prophecy and uh, was trying to have was trying to find Jesus, and that's why Joseph and Mary like left and flee. Uh, anyway, was it? I don't know. That That sounds like a fantasy movie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah so... that's uh, Riddick's in the Bible, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole shine job for cigarettes and everything. It's yeah. all in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, Punan reveals himself to Nuriak as Zukan, child of Mina, and Punan uh, yells that he will prove it. Just as two of Nuriak's men sneak up and fucking Julius Caesar, poor, poor Poonan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Poonan didn't do anything. <laughs> didn't do a goddamn thing, except stand there with his greasy bangs. Uh, but that is, uh, that is Nuriak's, like, signature move, is attacking from the back. Yeah. <laughs> so, Nuriak proceeds to cut off Poonan's head and claims that he's wiped the Zolpin off the face of the earth. So, yeah. That's, is the Zolpin just the tribe? I guess the the the, the tribe of the, the secret uh, more fire keepers. I don't know. I guess. Uh, but here there's, comes there's Gunan. So, there's so much unexplained <laughs> stuff. Like, at this point, what is... The, we don't, don't try know to, what the prophecy Don't try is. to world build in this bullshit, people. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, here comes Gunan. Uh, he comes across the head of his brother on a pike and curses Nuriak and swears that he will hunt every Hungat that lives. Meanwhile, a couple of Hungat guards are standing around doing guard things as Gunan <laughs> sneaks up and kills them both as they refuse to defend themselves. <laughs> <laughs> he then kills several more guards by banging his blunt-ass sword on their armor. Uh, they they he, really... <laughs> You shouldn't show in slow motion this like <laughs> this sword that's like as sharp as a rubber dildo, like it's <laughs> right. bouncing off of people. He just he hits them in the back, and they just go kind of ow, damn it! <laughs> the sword that is as sharp as the last shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! So, uh. He then climbs a hill and on the way down kills several more men and we get the extreme pleasure of watching each one of them fall all the way down the hill in slow motion. Uh, one thing I will give credit to in this movie, people can run down hills very efficiently in this movie. Yeah, they are good at it. Yeah. Like, I thought Poonan was going to eat it. <laughs> but he did great well, when he ran down a hill. Well, that's, and then that's later on, Poonan does it and it's like, damn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he continues running around, hitting people in the back with his metal yard stick. Uh, he frees the pri the prisoners as more guards slowly ride up. He chops the men off their horses, and we cut away to Nuriak's base camp. Uh, Nuriak sits on his throne and complains to his men that he knows he killed Zukan, but maybe the man he killed was an imposter. And the men say that Zukan is stronger than a hurricane. He's a six-ton mountain of a man that could palm a medicine ball and take a shotgun blast standing. <laughs> uh, he, rode, he rode atop a steed for chance to spy a lady. <laughs> he once punched a hole in the cow just to see what was coming up the road. <laughs> One time he rode a buffalo into a bar and killed 50 men. <laughs> So Nuriak says that if his men are too scared, then he himself will hunt down and kill Zukan. Uh, not wise considering the prophecy and all, Nuriak. What's the prophecy? <laughs> Don't you listen to the stars? <laughs> the, the prophecy is that Zukan would be born and he would kill Nuriak. What a waste the of end. a prophecy. <laughs> well, these are the stars we're talking about, John. Ugh, God, you can't expect like, much here. They're just prophesizing everything. <laughs> like, uh, there's a prophecy coming down that uh, I'm going to buy some gum later at the store. <laughs> so Everybody knows the stars are controlled by lobbyists. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Gunan is sneaking around, uh, 
slow-mo marking guards left and right. Uh, he he leaves his <clears throat> precious sword in the sand as bait and strikes from the water like a friggin' crocodile. <laughs> I don't. How is this bait? They're like, oh, sh- dude, do you see oh, that sh- sword over there? There's a sword in the beach. <laughs> Let's check it out. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> They were just trying to think of ways he could kill guards. I guess. But also, like, uh, I, I want to see a structure somewhere in this world. <laughs> There's no... It's just dopes wandering around a beach in <laughs> stupid wings. Well, Nuriak lives in a cave. He's got a cave. Uh, Gunan and Punan's parents had a, had a, a tent. The Kuniats all had tents, probably the same tents of the Zolpan. Same exact tents. <laughs> uh, Marga lives in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he sneaks further into the Valley of Desolation, past all the statues that he saw in Marga's vision pool. Uh, Nuriak walks deeper into his domain, luring Gunan further in. Gunan gets the drop on Nuriak and lays out this whole spiel about revenge as an archer sneaks up and sticks one in Gunan's back. <laughs> Gotta watch your fucking back, man. <laughs> he flees into the woods as Nuriak's men pursue him. This is uh, Let's start the attack from the rear counter. <laughs> I think this is two. I mean, one on Poonan and one on Gunan. <laughs> Gunan decides that he should fuck around with the arrow that's stuck in his goddamn heart and snaps it off on a rock and violently yanks it out of his chest. He bleeds out on the rocks and the movie ends. <laughs> there was much rejoicing. <laughs> uh, only it does it, unfortunately. And he comes to and wanders off to find water. Uh, he then chooses the most difficult terrain possible for him to stumble across on his way back to the Kuniats. <laughs> Just all these unlevel loose rocks. Not, not, don't walk on the beach. For God's sakes, no. No. Uh, at the Kuniat village, the Amazons march a group of female prisoners into their camp that they intend on using as breeding stock. With who? Who the fuck knows? The tiger guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger. That's, that's what the tiger guy's there for. Uh, well, it looks like Gunan came back at just the right goddamn time. Hell yeah. The Amazons run into Gunan's aid and hurry him to a tent. Uh, Marga crawls out of a broiling hole in the earth with some kind of medicine for Gunan. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where is she coming from? <laughs> he hallucinates in dreams of Nuriak killing his mother, for which he was neither old enough to remember or present for. Yeah, right? uh, they also don't seem to give a shit about their dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, never well, once talk wait, about ooh, re- avenging ooh, him. Ooh. There's well, a good reason for that. There's a twist at the end. Well, they don't know that. <laughs> they can feel it. The stars decreed it, John. <laughs> the stars were like, listen, guys, only care about your mom. <laughs> so uh, this is followed by another amazing piece of visual effects as they splice together two shots, one of Gunan running at slow-mo and one of Poonan running at fast motion with a big fuzzy black line down the middle of the screen. <laughs> That was pretty good. I was pretty impressed. Uh, we then pull a this movie and ignore any passage of time and cut hard to a completely healed Gunan as he gawks at this uh, blonde breeder slave, Lenny, as she emerges naked from the lake. Lenny? <laughs> you, know, you know the hot chick, Lenny? Yeah, Lenny. <laughs> So, you know, it ain't a sword and sorcery movie without inexplicable tits somewhere in it. Uh, She explains to him that the Kuniat kidnap women to bring back to breed for more females because the Kuniats can't bear children and would die out if they couldn't breed more. And it's all very confusing. Uh, (laughs) This, this, however, gets Gunan's loins all riled up and he decides he's going to do her right then and there, whether she likes it or not. (laughs) <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Marga looks on in slow motion, does not seem to approve. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh uh, man, I didn't. Marga's got that thirst. <laughs> oh, it was the, uh, is the first documented case of the madness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very early. Yeah. 
Uh, so later, well, she's like she's she's uh, some kind of immortal, right? She's yeah, uh, yeah, she's immortal. Is, this is we could call this officially a legendary case of dick matches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so later, it's like I've been running around hey, eternity with only sand in my vagina. <laughs> I could have been doing that. <laughs> Somebody find that tiger quick. <laughs> uh, so later, Gunan and Lenny stroll through the woods and walk and walk and walk until finally a trio of goons leap from the woods, bash Gunan over the head with a blunt instrument and run off with Lenny. From the rear, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Later, Gunan wakes up tied to a tree and is immediately untied somehow and searches for Lenny. Uh, there's a brief, almost owl-length shot of Lenny's face, as you can guess what's happening to her. Uh, Gunan drops his binds on the ground in a clearing and waits for one of the goons to approach to inspect them, and he leaps from the foliage and snaps his neck. Then the <laughs> well, second goon... To... He didn't so much break his neck as he just tried to show him something on the other side of him. <laughs> Let's go over there. Uh, a second goon appears and Gunan smashes his face into a tree trunk and the third goon is searching the woods when Gunan drops from a tree picks him up and breaks him over his knee like friggin Bane <laughs> that was pretty good actually <laughs> hard cut to Gunan carrying a bare ass naked Lenny through the woods which immediately cuts to her in the tail end of getting dressed I think some scenes got left on the cutting room floor and then directly to the director's private collection. <laughs> yes. Uh, he, he reassures Lenny that Marg is going to take care of her while he's out hunting down Nuriak. Uh, back at the Kuniak village, uh, shit's getting real as Gunan is suddenly charged with crimes punishable by death. <laughs> We just cut straight to this shit. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, I guess Marga's, Marga's heart is broken. Right, yeah. she's she's never gonna get to fuck the kid she raised. <laughs> <laughs> never thought about it like this that. This is true. Uh, so yeah, so they're gonna. It's it's forbidden for him to sleep with the breeding stock. God forbid someone well, sleep with the breeding stock. Who was supposed to breed stock. with them then? Uh, tiger guy, the tiger guy has dibs. Yeah, they said they <laughs> they said they like use dudes from other villages or something why are you gonna outsource when you got gunan right there <laughs> i don't know he's the he's he's the prophesied one right well yeah once again the stars finding the least efficient way to do things <laughs> <laughs> i didn't realize this was gonna turn into such a strong metaphor Oh, I, I, had, I had prayed this was gonna happen when i wrote that first joke <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Gunan is charged with crimes punishable by death, but because he's family, they don't apply to him or something. Mm. So they just banish him. Uh, so he claims that Lenny now belongs to him and he will fight to the death for her. And he squares up against the Kuniat warrior and let the goddamn slow-mo begin. He eventually knocks her to the ground, but she blinds him with science as she reflects the sun off her mirror-like shield into his eyes. Uh, but for proving his bravery, they allow him to live, give him Lenny, and allow him to stay there as long as he wants. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Perfect Great. Can we have just skipped all this shit? Uh, later, Marga strips down and lays on her bed as Gunan walks in in this whole, oh, I wasn't expecting visitors shtick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she demands that he does all the things that he does to Lenny to her, but he refuses as to touch a Cooney at his sacrilege. Well, she's not happy about this as her mincing glares directly into the camera convey. Uh, later that night, Marga drags Lenny off into the night to Nuriak's lair. She says that Lenny is the best bait that they can have to catch Gunan. She turns Lenny over and leaves. Now, let's remember that Marga did this because it's going to come into play at the end of the movie that, you know, <laughs> She just, you know, hired Nuriak to murder Gunan. Right. So, uh, the next day, Gunan is informed by some random Kuniat that Nuriak kidnapped Lenny. 
and the Kuniat leader warns him that he's walking into a trap, but Gunan cares not for caution. Gunan only cares for slow motion running for 30 fucking seconds. This is, this is <sighs> This took so long. I, this was the only part of the movie that I had to fast forward because it just wasn't stopping. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Uh, just imagine footage of a man running down a grassy hill with like epic drums going on the whole time. And it's super slow motion. And really slow motion. And he never gets anywhere. <laughs> no. Bangs just a flopping. <laughs> so he he arrives back at Nuriak's lair and just kind of walks right the hell in. But they manage to catch him in a net because he's an idiot. So he never uh, checks behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Nuriak tells him this, this is it. This is where the bombshell is dropped. As Nuriak tells him that he is their true father, having seduced his mother and deciding to kill her once he learned of the prophecy of the stars. What? Really? Are we really going to do this movie? Yes, we are. I'm doing it. And <sighs> they, there's no, there's no build up here. It's on a cut. It like yeah. cuts <laughs> and he's like, I'm your father. <laughs> and it's just I'm actually no your drama. father, by the way. Oh, oh. So, uh, Lenny, bare-ass naked again, is brought over and thrown on top of Gunan to remind her of what she's about to lose. And the Hungats start turning this crank, which is lowering this big bed of S Super Mario spikes from the ceiling. Uh, it's an idiotic contraption, to be sure. It's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lenny starts to cry out in pain as the spikes are starting to go into her back. But then the, the barbarians just kind of stop and just kind of leave okay we're gonna walk away because these spikes will it, what they said by by sunrise that the spikes will have gone all the way through you or something like that yeah, they're gonna like work their way through her yeah yeah but we're just gonna walk away and just assume that that's going to happen yeah, it's like a bee sting it's just yeah. keeps... <laughs> so... yeah, all right see you guys later have a good death yeah yeah lenny manages to get her hands untied then unties gunan he lifts the spikes the spiked bed off of her and they escape so not even react it. not even that hard, really. No, no, uh, it wasn't anything at all, actually. <laughs> uh, Nuriak assembles his men and sends them to find Gunan, and the Kuniats arrive for some reason, and an unremarkable battle ensues where the Kuniats <sighs> all uh, laser beam all the Hungats and proceed to stab them while they're incapacitated. Gunan this finally is the faces laziest, the laziest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. They yes. send in a troop of, of women to like face down these barbarians or whatever. And instead Amazonian of, warriors. Instead of choreographing a fight, they just blind <laughs> them with their shields. They just flip their laser discs up, upside down, and that's <sighs> it. <laughs> Lazy. Just so <sighs> lazy. Maybe they just figured nobody believed that women could fight well. <laughs> I mean, they, they don't need to. If this is their tactic that they use all the time, yeah. they just, like, blind them with the shields and then just kind of stab them while they're on the them. ground. Yeah. So, Gunan finally faces off against Nuriak, and you can bet your ass they're slow motion. Yes. The Kuniats leave them to fight as Gunan finally uh, gets the upper hand and slices Nuriak's belly open, and it really takes him a minute to figure out that he's supposed to die right now. Okay. <laughs> It took 48 seconds for him to die. I'm, thank not you for slow counting. Motion, not in slow motion. 48 real-time seconds. seconds of him. And he's now, like, he's looking around confused. Like, is my character supposed to die? <laughs> 48 seconds is a long time. Of, yeah, so, of screen time, for sure. Yeah, so I started looking up things that took 48 seconds. <laughs> And I, like, found list of things you could do around your house in 48 seconds. <laughs> like, toss out the junk mail, check your calendar, stuff like that. But then I also found that it took 48 seconds for Amanda Nunes to knock the fuck out of Ronda, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> that was 48 seconds. Uh, so, a long time this man sat there. Yeah, I mean, if you may recall, we sat silently for 17 seconds in... Uh... Zombie croc. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and I considered think, is, doing that, but that's way too fucking so long. That's way too long. <laughs> We're not going to do that to you folks. No. Oh, Lord. So he eventually drops to his knees as Gunan slow-mo chops his head off, uh, a la Thulsa Doom. Yeah. This was Gunan, an alright effect, actually. It, it, it was the only head chopping that they actually fucking showed. Yeah. So, uh... Gunan tells Marga, well, well, at first he takes one last look around the cave and he just, and he leaves. Then outside, he's reunited with Lenny as Gunan tells Marga and the Kuniat that he'll never forget them. Marga wishes them well and they head off. Marga just tried to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, 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 what? Yeah, what? I don't know. I don't know. Also, like right before um, uh, Nuriak and and Gunan started fighting, the the ladies just bounced. They started fighting. The ladies yeah. are like, "Oh, well, we're out." They don't care that <laughs> whether Gunan wins or not. As far as Marg is concerned, no. the stars were unaware of her treachery because she kept her emails on a private server in her bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're just gonna let the Marga thing dangle in the wind, I guess. I mean there's that no answer. She, she kidnapped Lenny, tried to get Gunan killed, but all's forgiven now because Well there's nothing you can do about it. I mean <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> She had a husband one uh, so, time that did a bunch of shit and nobody did anything to him either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, then a He's narrator the reason you can't comes touch out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's not the reason. You're just not supposed to do it. <laughs> Oh, where did know. this go? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I found one little string of parallel and I took it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so then a narrator comes out of fucking nowhere and he tells us that Gunan's sword passed from generation to generation, century to century, claimed by tyrants and knaves alike. And in the 13th illumination, it came to a king who used it to dispense justice Justice in a distant kingdom called Camelot. Mm -hmm. Fuck oh, you. Fuck. <laughs> and then in the 20th illumination, it was handed down to someone they called the Orange Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> and the sword was lost to the 17th illumination, but the elders are still waiting for the, so the stars to signal its return. Well, it's a good damn thing the stars could only be elected for two terms. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh the movie. Oh my god. The sword was Excalibur, guys. The sword was fucking Excalibur. If Excalibur looked that shitty. Yeah, that'd be... <laughs> and not King only Arthur that... was like, that, this is it? Okay. Not only that, that means these immortal Amazons are fucking real. <laughs> are you trying <laughs> to say is, women aren't real, Chase? This is all history. Well, this is actual Arthur history. Too. King Arthur's not real. Sure he no. is. No, he's not. Dude, I saw him in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so it's... God damn it. I wanted to watch a good sword and sorcery movie, and there's, I got cheated. There's Chase, there's, there's like one. <laughs> <laughs> there's one good shark movie, <laughs> one good sword and sorcery movie. This is true. Ah, uh, well... This is, that's what you get for picking on John. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, get, I get two shit movies in a row. Yeah. It disappointed me beyond belief. Nah, whatever. Well, that's not all you're getting. Mm, well, let's, let's, let's do these bullshit questions that I got. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 I, I might ruin my huge lead right here. Yeah, so. I don't know. You're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, question number one. What is the name of the nurse slash witch?
Oh. Question number two. What color are the flowers that the barbarians run by in that 12 minute long barbarian feet scene? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did I tell you I had to, to, to reach for, to find fucking questions for this movie? You know, no, mom, I'm, maybe you'll ask it, so I'm gonna I'm shut up. Uh, <laughs> when. When Gunan finds the severed head of his brother, what does he yell out? No. Oh, fuck. What is the name of the spear bearer at the beginning of their first little trial? Jesus Christ. What? what were you talking about? We're going to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I thought these were pretty... I thought names would be pretty goddamn obvious to, to remember. And also, what is the last vision that Gunan has as he hallucinates from his wounds? What's the last thing he sees before he, we, we smash cut to him fully healed? All right, here we go. What was the name of the witch? No clue. Uh, Nadia. Nada. Should I give that one to you? Well, I mean, I, I got the I got the spelling give it to from, him, the, no, from the from the Nobody was coming any closer. It's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, maybe yeah. There you go. Okay. Okay. What color were the flowers that the barbarians ran by? White. Pink. They were white. Thank God. <laughs> I thought for sure I was about to have a double fucking feature. <laughs> Uh, what does Gunan yell out when he sees the severed head of his brother? Make Zolpen great again. <laughs> yeah, it ain't that. Uh, gross, dude. <laughs> no, he yells out, Soulmate! Oh, man. Really? Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, what was the name of the spear bearer that brought the spear that they wrestled over? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Helga? Dania. Mm. And finally, what's the last vision that Gunan sees as he's hallucinating from his wounds? His mom die? Yeah, his mom's mom's head getting chopped off. Nope. His brother's head on the spike. Oh, shit. We each got one. Yeah. That sucks, <laughs> though. That sucks. <laughs> So, right now we're standing at me with nine, John with five, and Blake with four. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's disappointing. What you gonna do? I expected to do better. Nah. I expected you to do better too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew how many fires there were, how many random fires there were in the field. I didn't even think about using that as a question. There was, there was three of them. <laughs> Uh, okay, well now we got that out the way. Um, I'm I'm dying to find out what what Blake's gonna do to us now. Well, we're all lucky because I was gonna pick an asylum movie. Oh, oh you okay? You didn't. Not already. You didn't. I'm I didn't. <laughs> okay. I didn't. Uh, you gotta you gotta wait until at least like episode seven before you pull out the goddamn asylum. You gotta give us a little bit of time. Well, I think I found this season's fungicide. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, so we're going to watch The Amazing Bulk. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I know what it is. I, yeah. I also know what it is. I've never seen it, but I know what it is. Okay. It's got a 1.7 on IMDb, two stars on Amazon, no tomato meter. Uh, it's a merciful 76 minutes long. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the synopsis is Henry Hank Howard works as a scientist in a military lab, trying to create a super, <laughs> yeah. already <laughs> trying to create a superhuman formula, but with little success. He is also in love with the daughter of his boss, a general in an effort to earn his approval to marry his daughter. Henry tests the formula on himself 
inadvertently transforming himself into a purple rage monster and leaving him at the mercy of those who wish to exploit his newfound power. Uh, there was only four plot keywords for this whole movie. <laughs> Whoa. They're, they mean nothing to me, but their absurdity is what piqued my interest. <laughs> the, the four words are dust, hate, building, and parody. <laughs> <laughs> dust. <laughs> dust. <laughs> Uh, oh. The reviews. Uh, this is the room of superhero movies. <laughs> uh, this isn't a movie; it's a cry for attention. And the Hulk for really poor people. <laughs> uh, some facts that I found on it: the film was shot in five days. Uh, the director of the film found many of the backgrounds on free stock footage websites uh, that he lists as credits of the film. He shot the film around what he had, which led to scenes in wine cellars and fields inhabited by leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> Excluding the stock footage, every single scene in the film was shot on a green screen. No real filming oh, locations no. were used at any point. Man. Filming locations provided by Getty Images. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I, I mean, I, I'm a little... I'm excited kind of to see the whole thing. I've definitely seen clips from it uh, that are just atrocious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Foo boy. Oh, Lord. Uh, I mean, it looks better no. than... I mean, I'm sorry. It looks worse than Fungicide. <laughs> this, That's... There's elements that do, for sure. At least Fungicide was filmed. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Well, that's going to be... Well, at least it's only 70-something minutes long. <laughs> exactly. It should be over fast. Uh, I have a feeling we may have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I think we will. Just on the trailer that I saw, it's fine. We're going to be good. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do us for tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's been listening. Uh, if you can leave us a review on iTunes, we would so very much appreciate that. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash garbage theater, on Twitter at garbage underscore theater, and on Instagram at garbage underscore theater. If you'd like to send a, a movie request to us, we'll take movie requests. Send them in. Uh, you can give them to us on any social media channel, or you can email us directly at garbage theater podcast at gmail.com. Any last thoughts on Gunan the fucking idiot <laughs> uh no god i hated this i knew i should have picked the goddamn other one son of a bitch yeah you're an idiot <laughs> there's so many other good ones that look good that 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 actually had like the, the i mean i guess the film quality should have been the the dead giveaway but yeah it, well you it, never it, can it, tell it, with these it, things you know <laughs> Except by looking at it. <laughs> uh. Well, that'll do us for tonight, folks. Tune in next time when we watch The Amazing Bulk. We'll see you then. <laughs>